Core 2.1 provides several significant improvements to the existing Core workflow, including revised navigation and full MIDI control via the Core hardware controller. This brief video will acquaint you with some of these enhancements. By popular demand, Core can now be used as a generic MIDI controller to manage any MIDI-enabled hardware or software device. This can be done with either the Core 1 or Core 2 controller. Pressing F1, followed by the Control button, puts the Core controller into its MIDI control mode. Now any of Core's knobs, buttons, and even the jog wheel can send MIDI messages. Pressing F2 brings you to an overview screen where you can directly jump to various pages relating to MIDI control. One of the most useful aspects of this system is that you can switch on the fly between controlling the core software and controlling a MIDI device. You might want to use the transport buttons on the core controller to control your host sequencer, for example. Then immediately switch back to controlling the core software. A separate application called the Controller Editor is included with Core 2.1 to allow sophisticated programming of Core's MIDI messages. Here you can decide whether a button or knob will, for example, send a MIDI CC, aftertouch, or another type of message. It should be mentioned that the Controller Editor also allows you to send Mackie control messages, a very powerful protocol supported by most sequencing hosts that allows you to do anything from enabling EQ sections to selecting objects in your project. As when using the Core Controller to control the Core 2 software, you're not limited to just eight knobs and eight buttons. You can also create multiple pages of MIDI controls that can be selected with the controller. Finally, you can choose from a series of predefined templates that we have provided for controlling NI instruments, as well as popular third-party software. And of course, you can save your own templates as well. Naturally, you can use the core controller itself to switch between these templates. Navigation within Core has also been improved to make it easier to get directly to the page you're interested in. Pressing the F2 button brings up an overview screen that shows a series of shortcuts on the Core LCD. From here you can press one of the eight buttons on the Core controller to jump directly to the corresponding page. Alternatively, you can use the cursor keys along with the Enter button to select the desired page. You can also manage multiple instances of Core more easily. Pressing F1 will show you a list of all instances of Core running within your sequencing host. A given instance can be immediately selected using the cursor keys.